Hey guys, TechHunters here doing another toy review and this time it's for the Star Wars Technically it's the Force Awakens line it was releasing but it's the Star Wars Rebels uh, Y-Wing Bomber or I think it's Y-Wing Scout Bomber because it's not a full Y-Wing it's like a mini Y-Wing Bomber and it comes with a exclusive Kanan Jarrus figure and uh, it has a few different features from the regular uh, older Clone Wars version that was released. So, having a quick look at the figure itself, here is Kanan in all his glory. Uh, he's a basic five points of articulation figure. Now, uh, I say that loosely because when I first got him, his head was very stiff. Um, it can turn small bit, but not very much, so I wouldn't even give him the full five points is more of a four point articulation figure so his arms can just rotate and his four legs can go forward and back uh, he does come with his signature lightsaber now mine got fairly warped when I took it out of the packaging it didn't look too bad when it was in the packaging it could have been just when I pulled it out it got a bit um, warped but it does fit both hands you can hold it in both hands he does have a pistol in a holster on his right leg but it's sculpted in it's non-removable so unfortunately you can't do him with uh, holding the pistol and the lightsaber at the same time also the lightsaber has no place to clip onto him uh, even though you can't even take out the blade anyway so it wouldn't uh, be functional for him to hold it with, with the with saber lit up onto the vehicle itself. Now I have kitted it out with a X-Wing pilot as you can see here it's a little Celestian old X-Wing pilot that I had um, he fits in quite well. Uh, any of the 3 and quarter inch figures generally will fit the uh, the cockpit area as long as you can get them into a decent seated position you should be able to kind of squeeze it in and be able to close the lid. It kind of gives a bit of headroom and I also have a random or I'm not sure if it's even an OR2, it's an OR unit droid in the back. Uh, the way they intended for this to be used is you, you're supposed to use the chopper figure. Uh, and I, know I don't have chopper himself, but the way it works is, and this is how it's different to the other uh, Y-Wing bombers, is there's this panel. Oops, sorry. So, let's see if I can get that on camera. There's this panel at the back that comes out, and there's this extra tray. Because chopper is so small, he needs extra height. So you slide in the tray, and there's grooves on the inside that will fit it. So it connects back into place, and it closes up the back. On the on all the other Y-wing bombers, they actually had a complete open area at the back. They didn't have any plate that fits over it, and. You can put chopper in there then, and he has the height then to actually be poking out through the top. Because without that extra plate on the base, he just uh, sinks in too low onto it. But it does fit pretty much mo most standard uh, R2 or R unit droids, uh, astromech droids. There's a few that probably won't fit, like the ones that don't have the removable. Um, the older ones that don't have the removable third leg, because you need to actually take out the third leg to get them to stand straight up. Um, it does sort of work with some of the ones with the leg that kind of extends into the body as well. I've d used a few of my old R2, R2D tubes on some of the other ones I have. Paint Echo is actually different to the older one. Now, just for comp comparison, let me just move Kenan out of the way. I move that back. Here is one of the original you can get them both in there. There's one of the original uh, Clone Wars versions of the Y-Wing bombers. As you can see, completely different deco. Um, this one's more looks more like the vintage style um, movie. Was it New Hope the first appeared in? Uh, well, the original trilogy design, the original trilogy color pattern with the yellow and kind of beige, kind of white. Whereas this is completely made up for the um, Clone Wars. In fact, I don't think they were even in the Clone Wars episodes. They were just made, the toys were made just for the toy line. Um, again, same with the the Rebels. This hasn't featured, if yet, 
in any of the Rebels episodes. So it's completely just fabricated for the um, for the show. But um, the plastic used on the main body of both of them is actually different as well. This one's kind of a darker cream, whereas this one's a little bit lighter, more of a, more of a whitish cream than anything else. And then you got the red, kind of dark maroon um, deco on the vintage one. And if I flip it around to the back, you can see where I have the or it's like or four, I think it is, where he's stuck in the back. You can see that the plate is not there, but it should. The plate that came with the newer one should fit on both. Let me just see if it'll fit. I actually haven't tried this yet, so yeah, you can actually fit the plate from the new one onto the older one. So if you possibly, if you're anyway good at making casts of uh, bits, I would say like, and you wanted to have an enclosed area for the back of your Y-Wing bomber, that's probably a good thing to pick up and make a cast of, because I know people don't want to be going out buying a whole bomber unit and then not being able to use the bomber and have big uh, gaping holes in the, the older ones. Um, but there you go. Uh, the other key feature as well of these bombers is they actually have proton bombs and they have them there on the kind of nacelle looking pieces and there's a button up here you just press and it drops the um, bombs out so you can get that on the other one so they both drop the the you have to press them separately you don't um, they're not synced or anything and to load up the bombs again you just make sure that they're lined up properly and just push them in until they clip into place and it's the same on the older ones I think that's another sort of difference I think the bombs and these were the same they're slightly bluish plastic on the older one the bombs themselves are slightly bluer whereas the newer ones are kind of all black but uh, there you go guys there's just a quick video review of the Star Wars Rebels Y-Wing Scout Bomber with Kanan Jarrus figure the other thing about the Kanan figure, the only difference I know that he has from the regular release figure is that he has the kind of uh, headgear set that came with a couple of the pilot, kind of, you know, um, Jedi pilots had these kind of headgear. So it's a similar one to like the Obi-Wan pilot had that as well. So there you go, that's the only real difference between them. So hope you enjoyed the review. Hope I didn't waffle on too much. And as I always say, if you like my reviews, click like and uh, if you want to comment feel free to comment and feel free to subscribe to the channel as well cheers guys